Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about uh, something that happened just a little while ago, and that's the death, shooting death, of a rapper named Nipsey Hussle. Now, I didn't even know this guy existed, honestly. I'm not a big fan of rap anyway, or hip-hop culture. It's just not something I've ever really cared about. Um, obviously there are a lot of people who do care about this type of stuff. And it was only to someone I know mentioned it to me, and they, for them it was a big deal. To me, you know, I didn't even know the person even existed. And that's what I'm getting at, is like, you know what, if you don't even know something exists, you don't miss it, because you never knew about it. And what does it really matter, for instance, everyone makes a big deal about one person or another person or another person when there's millions of people dying every day millions and people and people tend to make these big deals about these little incidents the shooting there are thousands of shootings in America every single day thousands of people are killed every single day one person gets shot and killed and while that that that's really unfortunate it happens what about all the other people? Why does no one really care about that? You see, people care about what they want to care about. And there's this thing called pseudo-living, meaning that you feel better about your own life by watching another person live theirs. For instance, if you haven't really done a whole hell of a lot with your life, it makes you feel better by looking at someone who has. You know, as long as they've pursued their own passions, whatever that may be. It actually makes you feel better about yourself by watching them do what they want to do. It's actually a true concept. Um, and somehow it's like you live through another person. That's The parents do this a lot. They live through their children. They, they want their children to become the person they always wanted to be, but they didn't do it. So they want their children to do it, and they put a, a necessary burden on their children to live up to their own expectations. And this is actually not uncommon at all. So, it's like, why does it even matter? Well, it matters because people decided it mattered. That, that's it. That's the only reason. And your life before or after this person was killed really isn't going to change besides you... The, you know, thinking, you know, that that really sucks. Huh? They might be upset for a couple of days, a week, and then it just fades away. And they'll pick something else to, to focus on. Because, you know, while someone may have done great things, as I was, like, educating myself about it earlier today, because honestly, as I said, I didn't know, I didn't know this guy even existed. And it, it sounds like he did some good things, you know, community work, um, some activism, act, act to, whatever, um... <laughs> words are hard, you know, um, made something of himself, pursued whatever he wanted to do in life, and that's all good, we all should be doing that, every one of us, but fear stops us, that's really the big thing, fear stops us, we don't believe in ourselves, and when you don't believe in yourself, you can't do nothing, that's just a fact, so, does it really matter that this guy was here or not here, to the people's lives that, that decided he mattered, yes, it did, to other people, they, it doesn't matter. He was gone one day, and he was there here one day, and gone the next. And they really didn't notice anything happened. Um, this It happens all the time. If you're connected with it personally because you decided it was important to you, then it matters. If it you decide it doesn't, it doesn't. Your belief about something is really all it is. Just because someone else tells you to believe in something, or tells you it should matter, then... You can decide to believe them or not. And depending on that, you will just go with it, and it will matter or it won't. It's all about how you see something. You can see many people see the exact same incident, issue, or whatever, and have very different feelings about it. They could decide it doesn't mean nothing to them and just drop it. Others can decide, you know, it means a great deal about it and cling to that. People get very upset over the, one issue while another person doesn't give the slightest care to it, doesn't even think about it. You see, it's all about the perspective of the person. You may have really cared about this person. Others don't, still don't know he exists, and they never will. 
Um, I didn't know he exists because I don't follow those type of things anyway until someone that I knew mentioned him. And I'm like, who? And then they told me about it, and I'm like, oh, okay, what? Well, that, that's unfortunate. And, you know, someone else is going to be killed soon. Today, maybe in the next five minutes, because, you know what? Millions of people die every day. Thousands of shooting deaths a, d a day in America alone. So, decide what matters to you. Did this person matter to you? Then take the lessons from his life that you need to take. If he did something with his life and you followed it and you thought it was great, do something with your life. Do something with your life. Pursue something. Don't just sit there and pseudo-live through another. Pursue something. Whatever that may be, what has stopped you from getting up and doing what you want to do? Is it what others may think of you? Is it your own feelings about your own worth? That's a big one. That stops a lot of people. Push through it. That's how you force the issue. Push through the resistance and see that you really can accomplish anything. Others have shown you the way. For the people that actually followed Nipsey Hussle, he showed them a way. They may not even realize it, but they can follow in his footsteps. They can push through the resistance and, and live a life of their dreams. But you're not going to live a life of your dreams by sitting on the couch eating potato chips. And, you know, you have to do something. So follow the examples. If they meant a lot to you, honor them by continuing the legacy for yourself. I can tell you the fact that inspiring others is a magnificent feeling. It's an accomplishment in its own. So go for it. As they say, don't let the death be in vain. Make it live on by pursuing your own passions. Alright? So, like, comment, and subscribe, or even hit that dislike if button if I triggered you, because, you know, um, I'm good with either way. And um, until next time, I'll talk to you later.